Why do you think this is so important for uh, believers across the country to be traveling here? It, it is such a, uh, a desperate time in our nation right now that we need this outpouring. We need God's glory. To Welcome back to America Right Now. I'm Tom Basile. That was the scene at Asbury University recently. What started out as a morning prayer meeting turned into a revival that lasted for days and saw tens of thousands of people participate. In our Faith in America segment this week, at a time when young people in particular are suffering from the effects of our digital society, moral decay, and woke culture that leaves them spiritually depressed, could what happened at Asbury be the start of a new trend? Well, let's ask someone who was there. Joining us now is Khalil Akiki, a student at Asbury University. Uh, Khalil, what, first of all, what brought you to that revival? Yeah, so I'm actually a student at Asbury. So I've been here for this is my third year here. So um, I, I work in athletics. And so I heard about it the Wednesday that it happened. And long story short, something just kind of pulled me there. And the rest is, I tell people the rest is history because I didn't end up leaving for two weeks, so. So you were really there the, almost the whole time. Um, it, it, talk to us about your, your personal experience being in the room uh, with all of those other folks, M maybe some like you, uh, maybe others who uh, had never been to anything quite like that before, and, and watching the impact. Yeah, so um, it's, and what I've told so many people is it's so hard to put into words that like what's happened here. Um, but what it really was is it was just an outpouring of God's spirit and um, just like the goodness of Christ. And so it was, um, it's, it, it's, again, it's indescribable to try to put into words what happened here. I mean, we had people from all over the world coming here just to like get a taste of what was going on here. And so um, I've seen lives change. We've seen lots of healings, lots of reconciliation, um, lots of confession, lots of prayer. But the thing that's really been um, a cornerstone for us here is the radical humility that everybody has shown here. Um, and so there was just that when you're in the presence of the Lord like that, you, um, you're kind of stripped of all titles. You're stripped of all um, labels. And so, you know, we had professors in there. We had students. We had doctors in there um we had all types of people but when you go in there and you're yeah. at the altar there's just something um when you're in the presence like that like i was saying um you just lay it all out yeah. before god you're just you're stripped of your titles I, 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 I really love that that term radical humility uh, uh, khalil the, the studies are increasingly clear uh young people today are drifting away from god uh, I happen to think it's no coincidence that suicides, depression, drug use, isolation are, are up dramatically a young, a, a among young people as well. Why do you think it's so hard to convince people that the roadmap to a better life isn't with technology, but, but with faith and the type of experience that you had there? Yeah, it, it is so hard. And I, I think what you said earlier really described it really well is that we're in just such a digital society and um, so many things just grab our attention and they want us to place our attention where it doesn't need to be. And so what I've seen this, what this whole experience has been for me and so many people, other like others like me, this has just been a battle for attention, in my opinion. And so I believe that Jesus is turning all of our attention back to him. And so, you know, we have um, phones, social media, um, all of these types of things um, will kind of force you into this instant gratification. It wants your attention all the time. And so it's really hard in a world that everything is digital, mm, uh, is yeah. technical. Everything is, you know, if you, you feel weird if you don't have your phone on you. And so, um, and I just, a lot of that has been broken. And a lot of that is just the reality of it, I think is starting to come to light too. And so, yeah. and it's been so awesome to see our generation and, um, like leave all of that behind. And so we've had people healed of mental illnesses. Um, we've had some incredible testimonies of people um, in really dark places that have just come to Jesus and essentially just found, found the best news ever. And that's that Christ died for us and yeah. rose again. Khalil, students from 160 colleges traveled to Asbury for the revival. It was really amazing. Do you think that this is going to start a larger trend? 
Um, yeah, in my personal opinion, I the, the I don't I don't think we're done. I don't even think we're seeing the beginning. And so, what we had our the collegiate day of prayer. Asbury was fortunate enough to host it, and so our student our student body president worded it very very perfectly. She said that a lot of people think that this is the ending, and this is really just the beginning. And so, um, I think a lot of like what in the seventies when um, that generation kind of had their new age of spirituality. I believe what we're seeing now is a new generation coming to find Jesus. And they're not coming, they're not learning um, what the church is or what religion is, but they're learning what purely Jesus is. And so that's what's so beautiful well, about it. It's just so authentic. Yeah, well, people have to find faith, I guess, before they find religion, right? I mean, so so people coming to this and really is taking that first step by starting to have that relationship with God. Uh, I'm going to have to leave it there, but thank you so much for your, uh, for your reflections and uh, sharing your experience with us. What an amazing, uh, absolutely amazing experience that you had, and hopefully it does continue and expand. Asbury University student Khalil Akiki, thank you so much for sharing your story, sir. Thank you.